is regular morning at 6 a.m. to get food to offer to the monk in Ubon or anywhere in Thailand. Today I'm having breakfast with my friend and the popular breakfast in Ubon is tapioca noodle soup or we call kuei chap. Soft and chewy noodle in savory pork broth served alongside with fried dough. After that we went to Macro, it's a wholesale club store. Just like Costco in the US. We are looking for mango steam, but we are ending up with the delicious fresh mango. It's called Kyosawoi. It can be eaten when it's green, it's sweet, crunchy, and a little tarty. We also get myeongjit, it's sweet and tarty as well. My family is taking me for lunch for the real Thai Isan style lunch. And on the way, we stop at nice cafe along the highway. There are so many nice and beautiful cafe and also good photo spot in Ubon and all over Thailand. Finally, we arrive at the small village near Ubon. The restaurant is lovely. It's located at the chef backyard and she cooked from her own kitchen. The seating is nice and cool even in the hot day. Since they used the rice straw to make the roof, it's really helped with ventilation, cooling off the whole place. The food ranging from grilled river fish covered with sea salt, serving with spicy and tasty chili dip, rice and local grown vegetables. Another popular dish for Thai Isan food that must have is papaya salad. It's spicy, tasty, with anchovy sauce and fermented crab. They typically grill the whole fish and cover the scale with sea salt to get flavor. It's a good time of the year to eat fish. It have a sweet flavor and loaded with fish egg. It's delicious. Sticky rice is a staple carb to serve with Thai Isan food. With the soft chewy texture and light sweet goes so well with all this tasty food. They also serve small crab salad and delicious and tasty fish soup. Another unique and popular dish on this side of Thailand is egg ant salad. It's soft, creamy, and will pop in your mouth. It's great with omelet, soup, or salad. On the way home, we excited to see the truck load of durians and need to stop and check it out and doing some tasting. We ended up with two packs of durians. We're so excited to try it. It's the first crop of the season.